In this part of the guided journey for our adopter form, so we're going to cover how to pre-fill uh, form when it's rendered. As shown in this form, you can see that customer ID has a value. The name field also has a value. So pre-filling a form means a form's rendered with some or all of the um, fields containing data. So looking at the uh, documentation topic titled pre-fill adopter forms. We're going to, in this video, we're going to select the fourth option. So we're going to pre-fill an adoptive form where there's no form model and there's no bound data. So every field is an unbound field and pre-filled using unbound XML. What does this mean? Well, we'll take a look at our XML. So here, notice it's a simple XML structure. It's got an AF unbound element. Within this, it has a data element, and this, this is the data that's used to pre-fill the form. The trick is, is the XML element under this, under this element has to map the fields in the form. So notice here, we have customer underscore ID, we have customer name. Well, these are the fields that are mapping to the form. So if we look at our form, we'll go to edit, Notice this field is customer ID, and this field is customer name, and this is mapping up to the elements in the XML data. So when working with uh, pre-filled forms, one important service that you have to configure is the pre-filled service configuration. So this is under the config manager. So if we open this up, we notice we have two entries, CRX, and then we have um, forward slash, forward slash dot star and then we have file um, three forward slashes dot star and this is letting us use uh, both file and XML lo located in um, the JCR. Now we're going to use this XML to pre-populate the form. We've added the third uh, field to um, add data into and it's the customer shipping address so notice here that we've entered the value 56 nowhere drive so we're going to save this file. Now we're going to use it to pre-populate the form. So to do this, we're going to click Forms, Form and Documents. We're going to select our form. And then we're going to select Preview, Preview with Data. We're going to select our um, XML file that we just modified, Form XML. Click open, click preview. Now notice that our new field is populated, which is 56 nowhere drive. So this shows that the XML that we just modified was successfully used to pre-populate the form. The last thing we're gonna cover here is the use of the data ref argument in the URL. So here's the URL that's gonna open the adoptive form. We're going to use the data ref and it's going to point to a physical file on my machine. So once we load this in our browser, here we can see that our form is loading with the data in the XML file by use of the data ref element. So this is an important way or technique you can use to pre-populate um, an adoptive form with data.